Few days ago, Lenovo bought Motorola launched Moto G5 Plus in India. It's a solid phone and will be one of the top considered phones for people eyeing for a smartphone in the budget range. Now, Motorola is planning to release a lower end version of G5 series in India, which will be called as Moto G5. It will be pretty interesting to see how it stands up to its rivals in terms of specification and pricing. So, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's all of us dive together into the world of technology for a swim. Don't forget friends, remember me, I'm Prajwal from Technology Gym. Welcome back friends, before we move ahead, if you are currently using any Motorola smartphone or a Lenovo smartphone, don't wait and hit the thumbs up button right away. Just to remind you, Motorola launched Moto G5 Plus in India a few days ago and currently it's exclusively available via Flipkart for a price of 16,999 rupees for the 32GB variant. Now Motorola is trying to concentrate on the entry level market in India with a sub 10,000 price bracket phone. Hence Moto G5 will be available in Indian markets pretty soon. Since G5 Plus is already exclusive on Flipkart, Moto G5 is also expected to be available via Flipkart itself. And most importantly, it will compete with Redmi 3S Prime and Lenovo K6 Power as these phones are currently leading the entry level smartphone market in India. We already know all the specifications of Moto G5 as it was first showcased in Mobile World Congress 2017 that happened way back in February. Moto G5 will sport a 5 inch Full HD screen and will have Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 chipset under the hood. It will be an octa core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz and will be coupled with either 2GB or 3GB RAM and 16GB or 32GB of onboard storage. The phone will also come with a dedicated microSD card slot which will support up to 128GB of storage expansion. The home button in Moto G5 will double as the fingerprint sensor and not just that, as we have seen in previous Motorola phones, the home button can be programmed to perform several actions other than just unlocking the screen. On the optical front, Moto G5 sports a 13 megapixel rear camera that supports dual LED flash and f2.0 aperture. The front facing camera is 5 megapixel and it can take some wide angle shots as well. As we have seen in previous generation of Motorola phones, the camera hardware will be pretty good and most of the times it will serve you well. So one of the major plus points for Moto G5 in this price range could be its camera. On the software front, the phone will run on Android 1.0 NuGet out of the box and the device is armed with 2800 mAh battery that has fast charging capabilities. Although not much is known about the price of Moto G5, it is expected to be below 10,000 rupees range. This is because currently its two competitors, Redmi 3S Prime and Lenovo K6 Power are available at similar price points. Lenovo K6 Power is retailing at 9,999 rupees in India and Redmi 3S Prime is available at 8,999 rupees via Flipkart. So to summarize, Moto G5 has everything that is essential to compete in the entry level smartphone market. But it must be priced correctly as well to ensure that it sells successfully. Also recently I heard concerns from Motorola smartphone buyers regarding updates. Earlier, all Motorola phones used to get updates on a regular basis, but now since the company is acquired by Lenovo, will the situation remain same? And when pitched against Redmi 3S Prime and Lenovo K6 Power, will Moto G5 stand apart and make it to Indian customers' hands? We will only have to wait and watch. Please do consider subscribing to my channel because this is your one-stop shop for all technology news. Your support is like a jewel in the crown, I have no words to describe. I am Prajwal from Technology Gem, please like, comment and subscribe. So keep those likes and comments coming as well and let's see if we could hit 100 likes this time. With that, hit thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it. Let's meet again. Until then, goodbye and thank you for watching.